This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shave your five. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross the Sway in the morning, shave four five. I gotta make this moment happen, have the beat. Because you know what? Let's get these guys sitting here. here, here. Let me let me get uh, K Tornado. Oh, put this right here, man. You can sit right there. I wanted to make this introduction happen real quick, man. Listen, man. Here we go, man. Now there there's some some artists that that when they come to the show it it, it, it uh it means a lot because they they're a part of my development. No doubt. My evolution. Absolutely. You know, um uh, they're a part of my inspiration. No doubt. You know, and I told a story earlier today, you know, growing up in California, growing up in Northern California, you know, when King Tech and I first started, you know, the way we started was we used to see Tech was a beat boy breaker. Mm-hmm. So Mm-hmm. He used to be a, in a group called Flynamic Force, and he went by Wiz Tech. And um, when dancers would come from other parts of the country, um, they would come to battle him and his crew. Mm-hmm. And he got a chance to uh, dance with the original Rocksteady crew um, and meet them. By that time, they were OGs. Right. And so when we start transitioning into the uh, more making music, um, there were groups that we kind of that kind of empowered us. Absolutely. Because rap was a certain way on the West Coast, you know. And I remember going to New York and going into this club. First time I was trying to get a, a New York experience because we watched Style Wars, Wild Style, B mm. Street, all those great, you mm. know, move. Notice I didn't say breaking. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> notice I didn't say that. And I remember going into a basement and hearing din, 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 din. Potholes in my line. Dun, 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 dun. And we was like, what the fuck? What is this? Right. It didn't sound like nothing else that was happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we saw what the dudes looked like, and they didn't look like nothing else on the planet. Right, right. And what they rapped about was the fact that they were nothing like anybody else, but empowered in being themselves. Mm. Which is why I got Katranada right here who had to come to that conclusion himself mm. as an artist and as a person, same way De La Soul did years ago. No doubt. And opened the doors for people to become more expressive of how they approach their music, mm-hmm. even what kind of sonically, what kind of sounds they used in their music. Right. Even their rap patterns were different. Everything they did was different. And to me, that's at the core and the spirit of what hip-hop culture was always about. No doubt. These are my brethren. These are my peers. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we Absolutely. all the same age. Right. <laughs> right. You know, no, 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 and, and, and no so doubt. it empowered me and King Tech to know that, hey, man, let's stay on this path of being different. What we're doing with the world famous Wake Up Show mm-hmm. and how we always try to find artists that are different and empower them and give them a break that otherwise they wouldn't have. They here today with some new music. They've been touring ever since the eighties. I don't even know how we got them here, ladies and gentlemen. The legendary De La Soul. Hey. I'm saying like, what an man, I don't know what else to say. Oh, I just oh, should just end the call. That's, 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 that's it. That's it. Yeah, okay. that's it. Good right, right. to see you, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to introduce y'all to K Tanada, man. Who to me, y'all, y'all know y'all familiar. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. You got the new project. Out, man. Yeah, right, man. man. Yeah, man. Right, hey, man. Any question? You want to throw a question? I know you ain't an interviewer. You just sit here. Okay, cool, man. Um, <laughs> man, how y'all been, man? It's man, we we've been working, uh-huh. working tired. and watching y'all on YouTube clips and all of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Every morning, yeah. I listen to you every morning. Man. Same word. What? Yeah. what? Yeah, he's always up I'm early. A citizen. Uh-huh. I'm watching the clips because uh-huh. I'm don't start until late, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm happy to see y'all really doing. Yeah, wow. for real. Yeah, some, some, what Have a B. What's up, girl? Yeah. Come on, girl. Right. Right <laughs> Yo, one, one of the things you, you guys do done really well over the years um, is run me and souls of mischief too, because mm. uh, for a long time you guys have been all over the radio, beating yep. up that BDS. Yep. You know, uh, for years. Yeah. And then you know the things change, the business change, the sound changes, and even though you make it, y'all continue to make great music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. Didn't have that same uh, um, exposure on the radio stations, mm-hmm. but had even more success if you go around the world touring, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. When did y'all catch wind of that, that this is what we can do? Um. It, well, the touring bug, I honestly, probably happened more so in 89, mm-hmm. yeah. um, touring with all the greats, 
from L to Kane. NWA. NWA. Um, too short. Enemy. I mean, when everything was under one roof. Yeah. Everybody was under one roof. It yeah. wasn't even, you know, this kind of rap, that kind of rap. We was all hip hop under under the same roof. I think it was um, when we were seeing everybody's live performance. Uh -huh. um, and NWA in particular. Yeah. That uh -huh. had the most influence on our live performance to this day. Yeah. Really? You know? Yeah. And um, the impact of that audience, man, there's no, no other high that could take place of that, you know, getting in front of a crowd and watching them sing your songs back and forth, mm -hmm. um, you know, anticipating the the next song and the transitions and all of that. That performing is, I think, the best thing. I think once we can't do that no more, this is completely over. It's a wrap, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, we immediately saw from the beginning, as Mace is saying, that we could fit in so many different worlds. Because uh -huh. as he said, we started on a major tour like the Nitro Tour with LL, NWA, Kane, and all them, and we went from there to the Fine Young Cannibals tour. We uh -huh. saw, like, w we had music that lent itself to everyone. Uh -huh. So that's what made us re realize, like, you know, we can go all over the world with it. Like, yeah. it was easy. Uh, you know, <clears throat> not everybody was so accepting of what you guys were bringing at one point. No, no, no. Okay, no. let's talk about that, Dave. Talk about that. I, I mean, I, I obviously, we came at a point in time where we were quite different from what anyone else was doing. Yeah and broke the boundaries of what a rap or a hip hop group was supposed to be or supposed to perform in front of. We was considered selling out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and it was difficult because we felt like we was just like anybody else, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. Um but as kids you kinda like fall into this thing where it's like, you know, when we were kids then, like, you know, you wanna you wanna do what's cool. You wanna do what everybody else is doing and you wanna be accepted and respected. And that was important to us. So it was kinda hard falling into those alternative slots yeah and not being on a bill for a show with your peers other artists other rap artists mm -hmm. and you know you perform with wendy and lisa bob dylan um who else uh sinead o'connor sinead o'connor we was doing wow. gigs Kravitz. like that you know mm -hmm. um and man we when tito puente tito opened puente. Up for yeah tito puente tito puente yeah. opened up for y'all yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 See, I'm famous now. I was, I was ready to hear that. Okay, there you go. You got it, Fosh. You got it. I hear it every but, morning. Now we got it. But, but, but see, but, do but you, you, you see the irony in this, though? Yeah. That's why I have Katrinata here. Mm -hmm. You see the irony in this? Yeah. So you guys had to break down those doors mm -hmm. yeah. and, and take those cabbages being thrown at you on the stage. Well, that's the, that's, that's, the, I'm, forgive me for cutting you off. No, that's no, the, that was me. the point of it all. Like, yeah. nowadays, you want to sell out. You want to sell out in every format, entity, yeah. pocket you can. Mm -hmm. It's called branding now. It's called, you know, extens extensive branding and yeah. extending yourself. But back then, we were kids who was just trying to be part of what's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't cool to be a part of anything else other than hip-hop. Other than hip-hop. But hip -hop. We, that was easy for us. You know, mm -hmm. I guess <clears throat> De La Sound and the De La Style, it was easy to hop on stage and open up for George Clinton and then perform after uh whom, whomever you know yeah. what i'm saying so so you you opening up for madonna was made possible hey because they were opening up for dylan and all these other mm. you see the tie so i'm making true. here <laughs> that's that's cool thing, like, man, i just up. think it's cool to be sitting there so, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> like, okay, that, that sounds good but you know um native tongue movement man that was um Man, I was a part of the native tongue movement in my own in my own head. You know what I mean? They didn't they didn't invite me to that either. I never had no West Coast people a part of that, man. What was that, that was about, different, man? Sway. It was I told you, I didn't even know the Bay in LA was different. Like I didn't know that. It's just you'd watch these videos, I was like these niggas got on so many clothes and it's like 90 degrees out there. And they wear the right, lumberjack okay, shirt. That's not where I was going with this. All right. Sorry. Come on, stop. Sorry, All right, we're going to, you know what? Uh, let's play a classic. Yeah, we're going to, matter of fact, oh, yeah. We we prepare something special for you guys, oh, man. Word. Posh, you know how we do on the show. Whenever Ooh. I have the, the juggernauts, the gatekeepers come on the show, a lot of times he like to take folks back and bring them up to date. Mm -hmm. So you remember, if you don't know, learn the legacy. De La Soul, Sweet. legendary, is here. Sway in the morning, shade four or five. Nice. Yeah. Legends. 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 Oh, one, two. Hands down. De yeah. La Soul 
And we're celebrating that ninth studio album. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And the anonymous nobody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah word yeah. up. What the? Oh, that, they always come with these, to- you know, like, <laughs> it's name. a puzzle, man. It got to mean. Puzzle. It got to mean <laughs> Yeah, man. What does it mean? Uh, it's, it's just basically saying that, you know, that I guess each of us got a power inside of ourselves to step up and, and do something, you know, um. So in in the case of music, we like to step up and just do things. We just like to challenge ourselves mm-hmm. and try to just raise the bar a little bit. Yeah. And but without without looking for you know without looking for a pat on the back, you know, mm-hmm. just doing it for the love. Mm-hmm. And um, the anonymous nobody is just the person who stands up and be, he he or she becomes a part of something just to make a change, mm-hmm. uh, improve something. Um, or even just to set off something, you know? yeah. So, yeah. or show the fact you even care about something. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it's just it's yeah. it's just it's just stepping in to do something and not not look for any kind of you know accolades at all. Mm-hmm. Just doing it for the love of the fact that it just might create change or help something. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Wow. That's that's beautiful. That, that's timely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very timely. Yeah, we 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 need to kind of mold our mindset like that because we we, we, we we need a balance. We need know? a balance. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we need a balance. We in badly need of a balance. Yeah. yeah, you know, um, instead of just complaining about it, is to do something about it. Yeah. yeah, um, I can honestly say conversations from everybody from our era mm-hmm. and before our era mm-hmm. <clears throat> don't like hip hop no more. Hmm. Wow. They don't love it no more. They don't love it. Okay. You know, but and that's sad because I think there is a lot to love about it. Yeah, I agree. You know, you can't you can't be, you know, and forgive me for using that term, you can't be an old timer hating just because the young kids got their own thing going on. Mm-hmm. You can't be that person. You gotta find a way to appreciate and know that they're continuing it. Yeah. yeah. In some way, shape, or form. They are continuing the legacy of what so many greats have created. Whether you love it or not, that 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 shouldn't that shouldn't like be an indication of supporting it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. you know. So, um, mm. I I just feel like you know everybody got that opportunity and that thing inside of them that says, you know, you can do something. Just yeah. do it. Stop complaining and stop right. talking. Yeah. Just do it. Especially if you <clears throat> if you care about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. So, who are some of the younger cats that keep that you we, guys, yeah excited? Man. I mean, I'm I'm a fan of a lot. You know, I I might not run to the store. Or run online and purchase everything, right? But I at least take a listen. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Big Sean. Mm. Um, Wait, Sean's I mean good. lyrically, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, I think Sean some dope. of us listen to things because of what we kind of like uh, relate to. Yeah, relate yeah. To, yeah. Dark Side Paradise was awesome. Yeah, mm. Pops, what about you, man? Who you like? I mean, in I saw you just took Katrina's information for. You know, well, no, I mean, <laughs> of course, <laughs> kind of bully, but, bully um, dollar. <laughs> 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 I don't like, okay, man. I'll nah. right. I mean. <laughs> It's like, it's pretty much like how Dave said. Um, we listen to to everything just for this fuel to even know what it is that's out there, or 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 regardless of what you don't even want to do. So whether it's Sean, whether it's Drake, whether it's whoever, I mean, like we listen to it all. We honestly do. I mean, um, I think you had him on on your show, uh, Tunji. That's his name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was it he had the joint war. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, like, that, oh, like that was dope. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I mean, like, I even yeah. from from listening to him when he was up here, I, I went through his whole album. Like, so oh, I mean, wow. like, we listen to everything, honestly, because we still students. We still the dudes who, funny enough, listen to Master Ace's new album where he was, you know, like, um, act, playing this part where the little kid is listening to the World Supreme Team like mm-hmm. back in the day, mm-hmm. and that's how I still feel. Like, I listen to Links and everything, like, because I just want to know what's new, that's and right. I, I just want to feel what's what's good out there. Do um. Do you listen to music with your kids? <clears throat> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. They keep yeah, yeah. you on point. Like yeah. my daughter yeah, yeah. is always telling me something that you know, and I listen to her. Mm-hmm. Like I, I initially, I was like, "How are you gonna tell me?" Right. <laughs> and then she just kept nailing it, man. She mm-hmm. kept hitting it on the nose, and I was like, "I call her now. Hey, what are you listening to?" <laughs> right, you know, right, right. <laughs> well, all my my, like my son's actually put me on to Chance the Rapper. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know so yeah, Chance is you know, brilliant, and mm-hmm. I, I'm digging him. You know, much as I'm even digging Murder Mook. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And still digging greats like Bumpy Knuckles. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Eddie Fox. Uh, yeah, De La Soul are here. Um, and the Anonymous Nobody is the name of the album. Coming out August 26th, yes, right? Sir, yes, sir. So it's further down the line, but they're promoting now because they got a new uh, single with Snoop fe- mm-hmm. uh, featuring Snoop called Pain. But y'all did some up. Uh, did y'all did something with Dave East? 
before? Y'all never worked with Davies? No, no, no. We we threw out a joint called um, A Beautiful Night. Yeah. And it's with uh, uh, the producer, Super Dave West. Dave West. Dave West. So a lot oh, of people... okay. Davies' <laughs> brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I said... Yeah. That's Davies' brother, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Dave West produced right there. a lot of stuff <laughs> with us on the AOI albums, whether it was Baby Fat, uh, a bunch mm. of stuff for us. A lot of stuff on the Grind 8 album. He's been around for a minute. So, I mean, he's, he's just stepped up and rhymed on this one track that we had. So, I mean, a lot of people have been hearing it lately because uh-huh. we just threw it out. So yeah, it's Super Dave West. Hey man, so can we talk about the Native Tongue era? Sure. Is that yeah. right? Who, who was the visionary behind that movement? What'd you say? The spirit? Who spearheaded it? I it was, was. I think it was. <laughs> it was. It started with Africa, yeah. Q-Tip, and Paz. Okay. Yeah. And I think it was more Africa and Tip. Mm-hmm. And then Africa to, from Jungle Book. Jungle Book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <clears throat> they brought it to Paz. Paz brought it home. Uh-huh. And the next thing you know, we was doing shows and getting up. And things just start naturally taking place. Yeah, we had already did the original mm-hmm. version of Buddy. And at that point, we was just all friends hanging out with each other. Uh-huh. Um, we was at, I came over to Africa's crib. Tip was already there. And then we was just chilling, looking at records. Tip was like, yo, Af, like, tell him the idea we were just talking about. And Af was like, oh, yeah, like, whenever we decide to, like, do records, why don't we just, like, use this word, this this group name called Native Tongue, so we don't have to put everyone's name over it. And I was like, yo, that's dope. And I was like, I'll go back and tell my fellas. Tip went back and told the rest of the tribe and the same with Africa. So it just all started from there. Was it a mantra, like a purpose? Did y'all want to put, you know, it was just... Nah, it was no. just really, I think, honestly, out of the respect and, and, and learning from greats like, you know, George Clinton with the Parliament, Funkadelic. Oh, okay. You know, it was just like yeah. saying, like, yo, here it is. We all groups but we can come together and form all these different groups we went even further than that like yeah. I, me tip um af and juju was like the fabulous fleas dave mike g and them was like kids on zenith af we all had all these different names uh-huh. of songs that we never really ever ever like got to put out one of the songs from the fabulous fleas thing that came out it was saturdays and i yeah. wound up in putting it on well, the day Soul was dead album so Damn, yeah i mean like we it was just just Friends having fun, just trying to think of different things to do. And we all like encouraged and, and egged each other on just to try different things. You know? When y'all look at like someone like a Jay-Z or a Nas who came up, you know, uh, right at the time, uh, right after y'all came out mm-hmm. and, and see how they've been able to kind of sustain this positioning in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what, what, what are your thoughts? Do y'all ever bump into guy like Jay Z and, and, and me and Nas definitely Nas honestly, all the running time. to Nas yeah, really? pretty yeah. often? Yeah, yeah. What do I you mean, want? that's 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 hard work. I commend. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like that's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. I mean, we know how much work it takes to stay at that position as mm-hmm. well as continue to to earn the respect for that position. Mm-hmm. So I commend them. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you don't want to do it? Nah. <laughs> no, do it. Nah, I'm good. Like exactly yo, where you at I'm right on that. It's funny because even in speaking to my son, I'll tell him that all the time, like, yo, there's a lot of work into going in to make something look easy. Because mm-hmm. when you look at mm-hmm. the visuals yeah. and them partying, I was like, yo, for real, like, he doesn't be at a party all day long. Like, right. Mm-hmm. He looks nice in that video, mm-hmm. but he's up in a studio like for like 12 hours doing what he's doing. And yeah. that's why him and the Nazis and everyone else sustain what they have. Because they can actually make it look easy, and that's hard. Yeah, because it is a lot of work. It is. It is yeah. a lot of work, especially when work. you factor in personal life at that. Yeah, uh-huh. that, yeah. you know, everybody got families now, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, De La Soul are right here, man. I got, I got a couple, like maybe one minute to take a bunch of calls, but I want to make sure our listeners get a chance to say what's up to you guys. Uh, let's go to uh, Melanie in Miami. What's Good morning, up, Mel? Melanie. How Mel, you doing, Mel? Mel. Hey, what's up? I just wanted to say hello to De La Soul. I've been listening to hip-hop since the beginning of time. I'm 43 years old. You guys changed the game, I must say. you uh, We were all wearing black medallions and no gold. It was, you know, right. I'm from Miami. We were listening to Luke and all that, but oh, then damn. you guys came in. It was the best. It changed our lives. We started wearing black medallions and no gold, sh- stopped popping the coochie and respecting ourselves. Like, yeah. Well, we, we, we were listening to Luke, too. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't think they mail. I don't think they want you to stop popping your coochie, either. It's just where the, the black medallions and the just, gold. Just, popping. Just, a, just a time and place for everything. everything. You did. Seasons. <laughs> Seasons, Mel. Seasons. Hey, Mel, you're, you're a citizen. That's way in the morning. No, All right, we got black men from Sacramento on the line. What up, black men? You're... Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, Dale, I saw, you know, I just want to commend you guys because you guys did change the game because at the time when I started listening to hip-hop, it was like too short. Um, girl, that's your life. Don't do it. And in Northern California, by that time, it was like all about the crack music. 
Right. And when I started listening to you guys, you guys made me get more into my my blackness. And no, I like no to thank you guys for that. But at the other end, that you guys said about these, you know, I'm an old head. I'm 42 years old. And it's like, when I hear the guys that's coming out now, there's a lot of young guys that got bars and, they, and they're mm-hmm. doing their thing. But nice. then you got a lot of these, a lot of these cats that sell the same. They ain't got no creativity. They just, uh, who's putting these motherfuckers out here? It's like, <laughs> like for instance, Uh-oh. like Rich Homie Quan and oh, no, no. Uh, I like Quan. I like Quan. Like 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 yeah, yeah, you <laughs> may like him, but he sound like motherfucking T Pain. T Pain sound mean, like it, it's just like. What is, you know, where, where does it stop with creativity? I mean, it, it's it's one of those things that it's been happening since the very beginning, man. You had folks it's sounding true. like other folks yes. and yeah. people having the same style, similar styles. I mean, we kind of set off a style that was copied. quite similar in some in some mm-hmm. cases copied. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it happens. I mean, everybody, you know, you're going to find some imitations. You're going to find some come close to. But, yeah. you know, there's also a lot of original folks out there doing their thing as well. So Just That's unfortunate a- in this day and time, biting has became cool. Just like selling biting. out. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, biting is the shit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's almost a form of flattery. flattery yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? Like, and like a standard way of just putting together your music. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, De La Soul, man, unfortunately, our time is run out. Oh, but I, God, I feel man. like this is part one. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we got to do at least a three part series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Love to return. And, 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 and in the third part, uh, that's where the performance component come in. Right. Whatever because we need to do. Because y'all know I got about 50 questions for you. Man, <laughs> that only I would know, right? There it, ain't too many of us left in the game that no would know. Doubt. Okay, uh, man, thanks for coming by. Hey, thanks Love for having me. Thank you for having us, man. man come it's on, man. Anytime y'all want to come by, come yeah. by. Right. Yeah. Thank y'all you, Y'all got bro. the song Pain with uh, Snoop. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. Did he come in the studio or did... No, 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 no. Okay. we exchanged sure. files and stuff. Yeah, okay. we, we had met up a, a while ago at like South by Southwest. Snoop himself was like, yo, man, why we haven't ever done a song, song together? Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, you know, we came up with a song and it worked out. So it's part of the new album. Please check it out. August 26th, we got uh, Rock Marciano on the album, Jill Scott, uh, Usher, 2 Chains, oh. D- David Byrne from Talking Heads, Damon Auburn from oh, Gorilla. So yeah. it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot of great people and Little Dragons on there. So it's but, something that, it's something that, it's different. But it, it works with music and it works with it'll work in your heart. I'm telling you, it, okay. it's a good it's a good album. And you could buy this single. You could get this single now. Yeah, yeah, single. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. pre-order the album too, yeah, right? Yeah, sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, before we play this, Ketchanada, thanks for coming by today, man. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, you, yeah, man. man. What you doing, brother? Yes, keep sir. up the keep stay the course. Also, uh our, the the young DJ that came by, Beauty and the Beats, thank you for coming through. No doubt. All right. Um, who else with DJ Schemes? Thank you for coming through as well. And we have first day with Kelly Kincaid. First today. day with Kelly Kincaid, the legendary De La Soul. Yes, um look, looking like they did fifteen years for ago. Real, I don't know. Right? I don't know if they're drinking lamb blood or <laughs> you know they overseas right. a lot. Man. Yeah, overseas they, blood. They yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're doing something. That Roman England blood. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, I saw Dracula. I know how it goes now. Yeah. Um this is the uh <laughs> I'm at Real Sway on Twitter, Instagram. Tracy, how can they reach you? Twitter, Instagram, at it's Tracy G, I T S T R A C Y G. You can also visit She's Beauty and the Beast.com. Heather. Hit me up at the happy hour with WHB Instagram and Twitter. Citizens, we had a great show all week. Hit us up at uh SiriusXM.com on demand. Mace. De La Souls Dugout on Twitter. DJ Maceo on Instagram. Okay. We are De La Soul everywhere online. Okay. Pops. Uh plug one. That's plug W O N De La Soul. Um, on Instagram and Twitter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for tuning in. Until tomorrow, yeah. we have nothing left to say. <laughs> it's Sway in the morning only from Shade 45.